You rolling? Hi. All right. Hi, Tom Hetzel with Ride Designs. We want to show a quick um, uh, um, uh, demonstration of duplicating a cushion in the field. I've got a client here whose cushion is working really, really well, but it's deteriorated and needs to be replaced. So we're going to replicate in the field. I've made sure that the cushion sufficiently fits the client as far as offloading and loading. That's been verified. I'm simply going to remove the cushion from its cover, set that to the side. Put inside a loose plastic bag. Try to get the seam of the bag in a logical position. What we're going to do now is we're going to lay plaster in the top and the sides down to capture about one inch of the platform that we're working from. That way we don't only have the top contour, casting down to the table gives us the orientation of the cushion. We can't replicate the cushion without good orientation. I've opened up my supplier's friend's back kit, so i got a good bandage. And we're simply going to go ahead and do the all, all five thicknesses. So we have a nice strong... Bit fairly wet. Lay it on. Get down to the to the table. You want to say rub it like you love it. Really rub it in there. is if you've got a cushion that's working well and you're replacing it for other reasons other than fit, there's no better representation of a good, safe, loading contour than a cushion that's been sat on successfully for a period of time. As the Ride Custom Cushion morphs to the subtle changes that a client presents with, whether it be small postural changes, weight loss, weight gain, material of the ride custom cushion changes too. So that loading contour actually becomes more accurate over time. So loading contour is responsible for safe good skin outcome on um, the areas that we're loading. It's also responsible for the posture. So if you've got good offloading, good skin response, good orientation to the chair, and a good postural outcome, the last thing you want to do is capture a new shape. You want to use what they've got. So we'll make this cast. Once this cast dries, we'll be able to pull this cushion out of the cast, put the cover back on, send that home with the client. We'll then be looking at this cast of this cushion. We would fill out a simulator-based ride custom cushion order form. That's the simulator-based ride custom cushion order form. And instead of looking at the blue impression foam, we'll be looking at this cast. So you'd order your replacement cushion relative to the shape you've captured here, this. So on that order form, you can tell us, do you need the cushion wider or longer, a leg length discrepancy, more or less medial, lateral, and thigh support. You can send that. Into Ride Designs for a quote. We'll send a quote for replication of the cushion with those changes incorporated. The cast is sent in to us, and we'll replicate the cushion. Now this be a beautiful and easy fitting. If the cushion's working great for loading, but maybe they need more ischial clearance. Remember, ischial clearance is easy to achieve, right? You can even cut the bottom of the cushion, the right custom cushion out to achieve that ischial clearance. So modify the cushion to get the offloading improved. Then cast it. Again, I'd rather modify a cushion that's working for loading safely to improve offloading and still make a duplicate. So the procedure is check the fit of the existing cushion. Do any modifications necessary to make safe offloading? 
double check the loading. And again, if you got safe offloading, good skin response, good position in the chair, good postural outcome, do what I'm doing right now. Wet plaster, rubbing it in really good, capturing the table. Seems like a long time when you're just filming it, but this has taken me less time than it would take to try to do a complete new shape capture. And this is likely going to achieve a much better outcome. I'll make sure there's no hammocking of that plaster cast across my offloading contours. If I have any hammocking of the cast across those areas, obviously I'm going to be diminishing the offloading of the rip of the duplicate cushion. Put one more strip across the back to capture the, the table on the back. Okay. So I've rubbed it in really, really well. Plaster's already setting up. I'm in the low humidity of Montana today, so this is going to set up pretty quickly, but you'll see I've got cushion completely captured, and I've got it casted down to the table. So, wet plaster, cushion in a plastic bag, wet back up. Loading and offloading have been evaluated on the cushion and modified to be optimal. Cushion out of cover, loose bag. Fill your plaster, capture the top contour, make sure there's no hammocking of the bandage. Cast down to the table so we get orientation as well too. Cast all of this. While this is drying, you go to the order form, simulator-based order form. And you're going to fill out that order form for the features of the cushion that, um, um, uh, relative to the shape that you've captured here rather than the blue foam. Okay? So that's going to be a very simple way for you to get a beautiful replication of the cushion. Okay, so um, once you've got that, send that in for a quote, and you're rocking and rolling. Uh, thank you very much.